guess who's back back again or rather back after a uh, unexpectedly long break actually so anyway um, I'll check the audio quality before I do anything else because knowing my luck something you know if you don't touch anything these days something goes wrong these days something goes wrong okay that is fine audio quality for Mr. Twitch and what about YouTube's? How goes it, Mr. YouTube? Is the audio quality crisp and clean? What about the YouTube's? How goes it? Yep. Uh it is a okay. That's good. Stuff didn't blow up while I wasn't watching. Well I wasn't looking at you know uh Schrodinger's YouTube or Schrodinger's streaming rather. When you don't uh, look at something it goes awry anyway um, today we are continuing our quest to play every single map in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 um, and for that we have to go back to Restoration of Arathia and play a map which starts with a P Peacemaker and I had prepared something for myself oh yeah by the way some necro heroes were missing I was like you know what who could be the best peacemaker in the lands uh, probably should play one of the good factions you know and I was like you know there's no better man than Ryland because he starts with diplomacy <laughs> that's literally the uh, joke behind it so the elven city oh yeah that's this is why we play rampart the elven city uh, Sharta has become hostile to the surrounding lords after the sixth border dispute in the last month take over uh, Shartak to end the dispute also how about no turn timer amazing and I'm gonna be you know picking the worst starting bonus relative to the you know other ones and we are everyone is on a separate team and I'm gonna be playing on the 200% difficulty so let us jump into it and then I'll talk a bit about IRL stuff. The elves have sent out for reinforcements and you estimate four months before a horde of angry wood elves will arrive and rally around Shartak. So like the time limit we have to capture the town is uh, four months. Eh? Shartak must fall before this time. Oh, so el the elves are like quote-unquote evil and we're trying to beat them well, we're the good elves you know so who did or uh, other players roll into we have a castle Christian we have a castle Adela we have mr. Grindon printing money apparently and Sandro so yeah quite an interesting challenge to make peace uh, of course our artifact is the stoic watchman we wouldn't have it any other way and who do we have Ooh, gem uh, are we doing first aid nonsense or is Astra just better with seven pirates? I can't, uh, f uh, you know, scratch this feeling, but I f feel like um, the uh, Rampart heroes have some of the worst starting army in, in the game. Like, what is this, three elves and you get like seven pirates here? It's just so scuffed. Anyway, oh wait, I started with the tournament rules, didn't I? So I have like extra gold. I do not want that. Oopsie doopsie. Well now, uh, more options. Yeah, how about we don't do that here? Uh, well, I'm happy that I caught that. Well, uh, how could I not have caught that? Uh, that means we are actually getting a different, <laughs> different starting artifact. Hey, so yeah, we have to capture the town. Let's just reset. That never happened, by the way. And now we have like I think like less elves than before. Um, so, and we also have Uland and Sorsha, well now, this game just became a lot tougher in my honest opinion, so uh, of course we deposit the dwarves, uh, what about the rest of the army, so yeah, Mr, um, wait, didn't I select, oh my goodness, well, this is what happens when you don't play for two weeks, you literally end up um, messing up the uh, start starting bit starting the scenario so again wait the tournament rules are off 
we have the correct map. I have the correct color. Uh, we have everything ready. No more oopsie doopsies. <laughs> right? No, no more oopsie doopsies. Okay, this time for <laughs> people will be like, I guess it's just resetting to get better starting artifacts. <laughs> I swear it's not the case. Okay, anyway, this time, for real, this is the first time we are starting this scenario, okay? We have our man, Ryland, with a basic leadership and basic diplomacy. A dendroid specialist, so we'll see if we can make use of those threes. He is the peacemaker of the region, and he's gonna be, be joined by Coronius probably this week, and apparently Charn. And who are we actually versing? So, now this is more appropriate, so like we have a... Uh, you know, mostly evil towns. Let's make peace with them. I think I'll take the army with me. I don't really see a reason not to. I'll actually grab the... Oh yeah, let's have the movement speed. I haven't played like any Heroes of Might and Magic actually for these like past 11 days. Um, the reason for that is that when I have the... Uh, I have like a mixed schedule uh, what am i doing by the way here uh i think i'll actually go for the learning stone first resistance is always cool but i always ignore it because it's like uh i don't know maybe i should take it maybe i should do like the scenario with the uh, rampart hero who has the resistance speciality for one of the restoration of wrath maps i think i'll just take the um yeah leadership but yeah basically in real life i have the shift schedule so like some days hmm. can i flag this if i take the sonal some days i have um to go like in some weeks i have to go for evening shifts and i can't stream in those days like at all so that we whole week like every second week i just can't stream at all so uh this is actually select grabbing the water wheel does it do anything for us immediately um Hmm. We need to get the second hero ASAP. I feel like the treasure chests are a better way of doing this, but also I would like to get the ore pit. Uh, we'll grab the wood, just so we don't waste the moves. And... If we are here, 160, if we take something along the road, we can't reach it, so we'll do it like this. 500 gold. And we have some more chests here, so apparently this region is quite rich. Our starting area is quite rich, and we also should be... Uh, trying to go for like a boat um yeah a medium-sized map with five players is pretty fun hey i wonder if one of these okay wait uh shartak is the city uh and i can't see like city names or anything i can see my city name fortune key you send a message to the other lords that in that it might be uh, prudent to team up and fight uh shartak you eagerly awaited their reply. <laughs> I, th I feel like I know what the reply is gonna be. Lol, no. Got him. Uh, is it better to take these chests and then go for the orbit? I think it actually is. Um, the smallest chest I can get gives me a thousand gold. I would rather actually have a bunch of experience from Mr. Ryland, like immediately. But then again, I, I mean, yeah, we just need gold to build up the town as well. Um, good question is, do I take the... Okay, I'm not messing anything up, no. I have to see the size of this chest and then I have to decide. I think I have decided for gold. Um, for a simple reason. Hmm. Perhaps the shipyard. Nah, we need more, 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 more. We just need a... we need to buy the second hero. And then I have to ask myself this question. What do I do immediately right now with the army? I think Mr. Ryland, there's no escaping it. He will... he's the closest here. He... I don't see like in a fight that I can do immediately with him. He will just have to like... Pick up at least one ore. And then I have to go for the ore pit. And I cannot make him any faster. I feel like this is a good turn for him. Um, I could pick up these chests. I feel like picking up the dwarves and just giving them next turn to have more fighting power. 
against, for example, these griffins would be a good idea. So, actually, yeah, Coronis will be picking up the experience as well. And we don't have enough wood for a boat just quite yet. But that's what we're working on. on and actually, we can do this. So, and uh, yeah, I would like to build a town hall if I can. Oh, Lena, I didn't check this. I would have uh, made a different choice had I seen this. It would have actually been a better economic choice because she gives you more money than a uh, city hall, eh? Well, now. I keep forgetting to always check if uh, for the new heroes that, you know, spawn in. So, Mr. Ryland, I have a feeling that he is going to be fighting some griffins. Like, immediately, immediately, you know? And Coronius, for that case, will be giving our Peacemaker Man... Oh yeah, the uh, Slayer special skill, uh, spell is a thing we have. And... Oops, and... So, uh, 10 to 19 Royal Griffins. Do we really want to fight them? We could just pick up the gold pile, honestly. Ooh, more elves. I feel like they're a doable fight. They provide some gold and, you know, yeah, I will be fighting them. So our first fight of the scenario. And we will be doing it to the best of my abilities. So, uh, can these guys reach there? Yes, that was what I wanted. And we will be like, looking closer. Closer and closer. So my one stacks are falling quickly, which is a bit unfortunate. I could have actually put the dwarfs there. I, yeah, you can feel I'm so out of practice. And actually, I have to do that and try to finish off the. Uh, the two stack can still move. So let's try to bully down the biggest one with arch archery. I absolutely love it. Okay, wait, this one has more hit points. I absolutely love that the elves can shoot twice because of the good morale. And we have done this fight successfully. Amazing. Um, so yeah, probably the best thing to do now would be uh, grab a chest with for some gold. Um, can we... Yes, we can, but where will the ship appear? I'm kind of afraid of being scuffed by the uh, ship positioning. Anyway, we are absolutely buying out Lena. I could leave this treasure chest for Mr. Ryland, but I do don't think he will be coming uh, back uh, this way. And I will actually grab more gold. We will buy our ship. And we are too slow. Absolutely love it when this happens. Anyway, uh... In that case... Lena will have to go exploring. Uh, do I want to buy, well, a less squishy unit? Do I just want her to have more uh, meat, so to speak? I think I do. I would like her to escape. If she can. And yeah. So, she will be picking up stuff from the water. Coronius will be picking up stuff from the ground. Uh, we will be building a marketplace because I absolutely love this building and that is my turn three amazing so uh, water exploration is always fun let us pick up the loadsome and we just got wood no gold ooh a ocean bottle the most important objective of them all um, so yeah Coronius could go around here but I feel like I just wanna pick up these resources um, yeah this is completely fine and Mr. Island I do think he will be going for that gold and star axis and I would like to get a mage guild relatively soon a homestead would be an interesting purchase of all but the thing is we have Charna she comes with uh, the undead army so like some raids um, what do I think about that? I am not really sure, but I want to use that. I want to utilize that army, you know? She also has magic arrows, so she could be taking, like, the orc fight, perhaps. 
Um, yeah, because for Ryland, I think it might be a bit difficult to do that fight. Uh, I think we will lose less army, like, immediately if we do that fight. Um with Charna instead. Is there a way they can connect a bit better? My heroes that is. So something like this. I want I don't want to like diagonally move to give the uh you know thing away. Uh the army will have super duper bad morale so I will take that ocean it actually away. We will position my army six speed six speed so the dwarfs are the slowest, the sculptors are the slowest and I think I'll actually make some one stacks and let us do this fight. Ooh, tactics phase. Oh, amazing. She is even a uh, tactician. I mean, of course she is. It's just that I did not pay attention to her starting skill. So, a very powerful magic arrow. Um, we cannot morale with the rates. Do we want them to be shot at? Um, not really, but like what else are they gonna shoot? Maybe the skeleton boys, actually. Uh, yeah, like, can you shoot the skeleton boys? Amazing. That is absolutely what I wanted to happen. And we will magic arrow again. And I don't think we'll be losing anything else. Yeah, like... I don't see us losing anything else in this fight. Amazing. We even got a skeleton back. And we can go over here with Mr. Ryland. We can actually swap swap. Do we want the undead army for him? I think we actually do because of his good morale. He will be negating that. We have an archer's tower here. So we might be having a bunch of different... An army from a bunch of different factions. Um... Not the most ideal thing ever, but actually, hold up, the auto result was really good. Um, shoot. Different stacks. Uh, yeah, the auto result was really good just because of the, like, morale. I mean, uh, the chance to take on morale. Um, uh, speed, six speed. So, okay, we still did it better though. Amazing. So let's pick up the gold and more gold. Amazing. And should we pick up the archers? I actually think I should do that. Yes. And boom, boom. And we cannot build anything. Any interesting people in the tavern? Nope. Two uh, dungeon heroes, interestingly enough. So, yoink. The other lords reply is less than enthusiastic. They all feel they can defeat each other as well as the elves. Oh well, looks like you're on your own. Damn elves, I bet they had something to do with this. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. But hey, so let's go for the learning stone. Um, let's actually explore a bit of the water with Lena. And hold up. Is that a town? The islands are the key. Manufacturing. Really. Hmm. I have a feeling I could yoink a town or I'm about to get attacked, but hey. I don't see a ship here and I see some floatsum. So we have met one of the uh, other players, eh? I see Ayanan, I'm uh, like scared. The One of the best heroes for the AI. They always do uh, good with him. Don't know why, don't know how. So, uh, what am I picking up here? A treasure chest, of course, but like, am I picking up experience or gold is a good question. Um, developing the economy early is pretty good. I also want a homestead, so yeah, that's my that's my choice. Knowledge is amazing. As well as a uh, mage, yeah, mage gold and the homestead for the elves. These are the two buildings I really want. Which one do I want more, actually? I want the uh, Mage Guild for sure. And we have, like, Summon the Boat. Amazing. Cure is good. Magic Arrow is amazing. Haste is amazing. Only good spells, apparently. And what can Coronius do? Uh, not much. Coronius cannot reach Ryland, so we can't, like, take the army away from him. We can take the Vampire's Call. And that is basically, yeah, it that we can do with Coronius here. 
and ooh, spooky figures from the shadows. So yeah, ooh, some sea chests. And I absolutely love how much wood you can get on the water. Not the place you would expect to get wood, but it is apparently. So, um... Charna, what do we want to do with you? I'll actually give you intelligence. You can become a base def defender hero. I don't like the fact that I have to go like all around here. Um, I will take the give the vampire skull and take away the slower army actually. Slower army being the marksman as well, I suppose. Fi yeah, like this will just leave him like that. And Ryland will just go into the city. He will be buying himself a spellbook. We will be buying out the elves for him. And yep. Just. I, I would like to uh, stay one more turn here so I can upgrade them even, perhaps. And anyway, Coronius needs to be nearby so we can reinforce my hero. And what is Charna doing? Well, not much. Oh, she actually, she can go grab the item from the other side. We could also send her on another. Yeah, we should be thinking about putting another hero in the water pretty soon. So unfortunately nothing we can do here, but Orange is a looting the area. So rich patrons from overseas send you gold to help your cause. I have no idea who they are, but uh, thank you the rich patrons from the overseas region. Selena not having much luck here. Um, what am I doing here? I could build the uh, dendrite arches out, but I don't think six dendrites would be good. I could build a citadel for more um, army income. Am I fighting them, uh, the sea ducks this turn? Am I fighting the elves this turn? No. I think it's better to actually wait a week. In that case, actually, we are buying a boat. And Coronius is unfortunately too slow to get into it. Uh, Charna, however, is just the correct speed to get into it. And uh, she has some magic capabilities. And we will be doing like a small, oh, pretty big hero chain actually for this stage of the game. Oh, actually, yeah, Coronius has the scholar. Uh, we will be giving her the vampire skull because I don't see a use for that. Anyway, we are also transferring some spells to her, which is amazing. And I will be like just giving her the skeletons, I suppose. She can take the ocean as well. Um, the reason why is because she will generate more skeletons when fighting. It's fine. It works out. It's really good. Um, Coronius needs to be like ready to do that. So yeah, unfortunately, because of uh, the movement, yeah, Rylan has to leave the elves in the town for sure. I think we're going for a citadel, and we can set up Rylan actually to be in the perfect like position to fight. I think I will be actually fighting the sea ducks as well next turn, so that is that. And Tan is here, so week of the squirrel. Actually, what about manufactory? Ooh, a cartographer. Now, it's a bit too costly for this stage of the game, but, ooh, apparently Ring of Infinite Gems, amazing, amazing. But uh, this is an interesting object, we will have to keep an eye out for it. Um, let's get some more gold. And who do we have here? We have a fear and an Elishar, so Elishar is the obvious choice. And we don't have enough wood to upgrade the elves, a uh, big mistake from my side, but hey, we will be that and I think oh actually no wood for the blacksmith either um Iona is here though actually hold up hold up hold up we can get more wood pretty easily from the water but not on this turn ooh interesting I do like what I see in this map I like it a lot so uh Elishar is gonna be giving us the army uh, leaving himself with only one unit. He is an intelligence specialist. He will be picking stuff up and being useful. 
uh, Coronius will be sculling her over the curse and yeah, Ryland is ready to fight. Um, neutral morale is kind of sad, but you know, I could do something about it. I'm not planning to do something about it. So it is what it is. Ooh, actually they choose to shoot the regular archers. Ooh, and that is their first turn as well. So not much I could have done about that, eh? Um, okay, then they choose to shoot the skeletons, that's fine. And... Wonder if they will be getting something else down. I mean, they did destroy in the other result the skeletons completely. We saved some of the skeletons, I'm not sure even if that's a good thing or not. Oh, hey, El... Um... Alkin P. Alkin P. Wasn't your name Alexander Pacas? Hmm. Oh, hey, Adelicious. Let's go make peace by destroying everyone. Uh, still got uh, at work and dying. Oh, still at work and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it do be like that. I saw a funny com uh, comics um, drawing. It's like, um, you know, uh, there's a bus and one guy is looking outside at the cliffs and he's sad and the other person is looking outside at the sun and happy but it was like a photoshopped version where both of them are like looking at the sad you know the cliffs and being sad and it's like on one side people with a job and people without a job <laughs> on the other side anyway I what is my main concern but I think I'll have that sorted I will actually take the experience uh, tactics yes Ryland you can be a tactician I don't see the diplomacy coming in quite uh, yet. Ooh, uh, Earth magics, of course, amazing. And you can try to go for these elves. I mean, well, I wonder if they would have joined this if I had like diplomacy or not. But yeah, tactics is gonna be an amazing skill, long term and short term. Actually, you want to be uh, reposition my dudes a little bit. Yep. So, uh, haste gives me three movement speed, I need four, uh, mega unfortunate, but together with tactics it will be fantastic, so they choose to shoot my castle archers, and I think that, well, I don't feel like they're, I will dismiss him anyway, so I will probably go melee with him, you know? Oof, oof, and magic arrow, shoot, um, we could block, we can hit, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna do here, and well, now he is useful, he can actually down one archer, and yeah, unfortunately, no ability to block, they would've moved first, because they would've moved last anyway, and we can, like, finish them off, okay, so, I am gonna be dismissing that one um, archer. Actually, can I like give him away somehow? I could, but I don't feel like it's worth moving backwards for it. And also, Ina is here, so yeah, we will be dismissing this poor man. Or well, not poor. He uh, got retired quick, uh, quicker than the others. Actually, since I have tactics, I need to do it like that. And yep, we are ready. So, uh, Tan is Urissa, with a relatively big army, is coming here. Anyway, we don't care about that. We care only about picking up the Floatsum, and it's amazing. So, uh, an archer tower that is owned by Orange. Uh, I have made a cr critical mistake. Charn is too close to the coast, she can be attacked. That was not what I meant to do. Anyway, a Dragon Thief Necklace is amazing. An empty Floatsum is amazing. Uh, we would be triggering a fight if we landed there okay a prison Ooh, spicy so anyway uh elishar could you deliver some army to us should we even try to deliver army to us i think i will be building a blacksmith out i could buy out fear uh do i have three slots for units uh only if i have if i leave the undead units in <laughs> which means yes i have three slots for units and a bell. 
Uh, am I buying a single dwarf early? I don't feel like they're quite useful enough, you know? So anyway, Mr. Fear, Swaparino, and yes, you will be exploring. I need more heroes just ready to explore, you know? I feel Kalashar would be quite good at that, at doing that task. Okay, and Coroni, yes, will be taking away the three skeletons and we will be having just more army. Together, actually, we'll be taking like some pixies. Right. Yeah, we have to do it like this. Well, actually, no, we don't have to do it like uh, I really hate the, the skeletons being here, but like, we can do it like this. It's, it's fine, Copium. Now, okay, now the army is pretty. We have someone who can magic arrow. Uh, but that the reason why I did it like that is because I would l I want to chase down the uh, hero the AI has, but not with my main. I just need someone who doesn't die in a single you know hit. So uh, I see some gold that is not taken. I want that immediately. Uh, same over here. Conservatory is too strong for me. Assets would destroy me. Uh, I don't feel like I want to do either of these fights. The mages are an interesting idea, but I feel like just walking around them for now as well is a good idea. So let's do it like that. Okay, so... Of course we get attacked. Orange, thank you so much for disturbing my peaceful operation. I just wanted to explore, but now you made me magic out of you. How rude. Um, I think actually Charn is running away. What a lame fight, but hey. Are we buying her back is the real question. She does have one of the necromancy items. I don't feel like that's a priority I have now, you know? Like, boom. Um, let's actually move it. Uh, Lena could deliver the two items. One of them is actually quite good. Um, but anyway, I'm going to only yes. So this is not a place that is visited. We, I feel like we could just go for Tan immediately. Um, with Ryland as well, you know. Uh, wanna know what's in this witch hut, but that's not like immediately important, is it? Hmm. I actually want to take the gold mine as well. I feel like it's gonna be very, very beneficial in the short term and the long term as well. So, no, I didn't click. I'm like waiting for the thing to load. Um, I think I know that meme. Hasting centaurs to reach in two turns with uh, speed prayer maybe better than arrow. Ah, uh, I unless I reach immediately with haste, I'm actually quite uh, <laughs> hasty to, <laughs> to haste up <laughs> that sentence. Okay, so we want. I feel like this is good enough. Come closer. I promise it will not be. Boom. And. I could just hit and kill them and then haste and get out. I feel like that's what I'm gonna be doing. Like we. Yeah, we just like move away. And then we wait for him to come closer. And then we just shoot him. And I can also hit him first, Lamau, easy fight. Only used one magic, so I think Fountain of Youth, doing this little area just for the, like the treasure chest and maybe they land, will be uh, pretty good. Anyway, Lean is in a boat. Oh my goodness, I love treasures on the water. So, I need another hero in the water, I feel like. Elishar is a good candidate. He can maybe pick up some dwarfs, uh, yeah, and actually some mana, oh, I mean, I mean, he will have the mana anyway, but some dwarfs, and the fear could actually do it now, hmm, but he has no spell, but yeah, he's kind of a peg. I would rather wait one turn, and, well, two turns, actually, and just, you know, give him the appropriate stuff. I will buy out the seven dwarfs bef before I forget, Oops. seven. Just so no, okay, wait, like that. Uh, 
<laughs> this seems like a super pegger to make him faster, but he can reach anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and they are landing. Interesting. Yo, hold up, Aina. This is not how it was supposed to go. You were supposed to be dying. Um, she has some magic capabilities as well, which makes this battle a bit problematic. I mean, I can still, like, hit the next turn. Yeah, like, I can do... Yes. Ooh, they cursed me. Oh, they cursed me again. Okay, this fight is gonna be a bit more interesting than it really needs to be, you know? We will try to, like, overwhelm this one gargoyle. <laughs> Bro, that uh, curse coming in. Oh, wait, and hit. Hit. Oh, they shielded him. <laughs> I need to brawl down the Pegasus, actually. That's interesting. I But I need to also beat down this guy. I just need four people attacking him, you know? So they don't get to hit like that. Um, one damage. I could actually wait the curse out, but I... Yeah, I think I will do that. They just keep cursing. This fight is like, a, uh, you know, interestingly a highlight of this game, basically. So, I have no more spell casting, and they have a curse. Curse you! Uh, I think I actually don't hit. But then they, they just magic arrow and I die, you know? I... I feel like I have to hit, hit, and wait, yeah, they just, I can't believe the AI actually beats, wins with, uh, <laughs> this is not how this fight was supposed to go at all, wait, so like, uh, ooh, they are out of mana, so wait, I can't like run away or anything, I, they will be hitting here, right, Maybe should have split them up and tried to, like... Uh, man, I... I hate you so much, AI, for this. How dare you be so good at the game with, like, a... <laughs> that, that happened. That really just happened. Well, anyway, I will explore this little piece. Yeah, of course, there's nothing there. Lamau got, got wrecked. Anyway, Elishar could... Elishar probably needs to defend, because his both adventure, I mean, this is so scuffed. I am not forgiving that, I am immediately retaliating. Oh, but she's first, she will get to move. Ah, but still, it's better. Mm, is it? Maybe I should just go for the town and leave her for a secondary hero. I feel like that's worth doing, actually. Yeah, and they didn't pick up their artifact, but yeah. You take my hero, I take your town. That's how it's gonna be like. So, Fear does not have a spell book, so he's not that good at retaking the city if I lose it. I absolutely hate how this has turned out. I kind of don't want to be... Uh... Well, yeah. Is this, this my defense? I could buy some trees, I could <laughs> upgrade the dwarves. I need like the uh, more gold, I think. Can I sell something enough to have a... Uh... So that would be like a thousand. Yeah, I can get enough to... Yeah, I can get enough to just buy a citadel. I am generating gems, so I don't care about. Sulfur and uh, mercury are not needed for this town at all. I mean, crystal is needed, so I will rather sell some more. It's so like this, and we are just picking up a castle, and that's it. And that's the Omega defense. And yep, yeah, you can just go away now, AI. Pesky, pesky AI. I would like to explore, actually. If you pretend he, if he's standing here, he's just dying, so, you know. Okay, Tan is leaving. Aina being there. Wasn't she like in my uh, tavern as well? 
Now, I don't like the fact that I can't reach the town, but that means the AI will get to uh, be pesky and buy some troops out. But there's nothing I can do about that. So, you know. Uh, ooh. Necropolis town. I could pursue her, but that wouldn't be a good thing. I could also try to limit the exploration of Ayn. Which, I feel like that's a good idea. Um, Coronius... Is Coronius getting bought, bought back? I don't think Coronius is getting bought back. And yeah, we will be taking that spell power and leaving fear in the town. Um, and not buying him a book, because, you know, reading is overrated. That is my turn. No, not... No! AI! Bruh, the looting commences. <laughs> Blocked by a boat. I love that so much. They were like, I'm gonna explore up here. Oh no, I'm not gonna explore up there. Um, yo, pick with the... Why did they have so many heroes? Like, hello? So, uh... Oh, it's me, Karim. Oh, hey, Karim. How... What's... What's up? How's it going? Um, it's, uh, you better wait, that battle is kick, check the consus, Angel Zeke is broken, I mean, the problem with the conservatories are that they can be, like, really big, they usually are for me, I don't know how to tell the difference between the small and the big one, anyway, we can build a capital here, we could also build a city hall here, I have to think a bit about this, so Lena is in some trouble if she doesn't land because of this, but, oh, I wanted that sea chest. Damn you, AI. I think I want to explore with her either way, and she will just be landing, you know? Like, is this? Yeah, I will just, you know, do it like this. We have explored a bit. We will try to take their town. I don't have a thing. She will be running away, and I will be buying her back if that's what needs to happen. I don't like this too much. Uh... What is Fear doing? I think he's just sitting and thinking about getting into a boat if I can. I uh, don't want to get ambushed outside of the town. I don't care about Aina too much. I think we'll just actually... Hmm, I want a wall of knowledge, to be honest. But I also want to not lose the town, like immediately after I'm taking it. So I think I'll do something like this. I'll just chill. Restore my mana and buy the uh, Wall of Knowledge next turn when I have more gold. Uh, can I go here and go back? Okay, wait. Is this... Okay, the diagonal move costs like 140, right? Hmm. Do I care about I want to restore the mana. I'm not gonna risk it. I I will not be taking risks if not not now, not ever, you know? And they get a prison hero, who is... Okay, 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 a lot of intrigue. Tan takes my gold mine, orange comes out. Rich patrons from the sea send uh, you gold to help your cause. Uh, delicious, was that you, Karim? Are you sending gold to me? Amazing, anyway, Straker, striking it up with his undead. Um, Lean, unfortunately, cannot take this down, she is too weak. Um... Yeah, that's that. Can like take the obelisk and then try to go for that. I didn't have an obelisk in my biome, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> Discrimination, yo! Everyone else has like an obelisk. Well, not really, but close enough to them, you know. So we have to defend the town, and we are taking the, as I said, just this thing. I for movement speed. Hmm. I think I will be taking, the, uh, leaving the skeletons behind, uh, but the wraiths are actually quite powerful, so maybe not. Maybe I will just be leaving like uh, seven pixies, you know? I feel like that's a good idea, just keep the town occupied. I... I'm not too happy about... Yo, wait, you can only fight these guys if you land on a boat. Interesting, I want to see if this water wheel stick, it wasn't taken. Yo, that's uh, amazing. That's blasphemy. Right there. I will be going for the Tree of Knowledge, and it gives me. It just gives it to me. Yo. 
expert uh, earth magics enabled. Amazing. Uh, yeah, the, I will just be buying a new hero here next week. Or actually, maybe Coronius. Yeah, Coronius will have four knowledge. So anyway, Coronius, welcome back to the gang. Uh, you can help us by uh, just yeah, picking stuff up, leveling up easily, getting uh, earth magic apparently. Amazing. Uh, fear. I will put him like... Actually, this guy, yo, this guy is <laughs> like buff, buffed off and busted. Uh, I'll stay here just to pick up the windmill and I definitely need like more units here. So I think the dendroid arches will be amazing for that, you know. Town defense. So, uh, <laughs> Pog for a uh, win. <laughs> Come on, guys. Well, I'll I'll check the conservatory later, but like uh, for now, it's not appealing to me. And they attack, yo, Elishar, who coming in with that clutch defense, only losing two trees and a centaur. I wonder, can I do it better than the AI? If I target the flying units, perhaps I can. So like, boom, and we will try to make it so. Genies can't really do too much. Like, I'm actually usually you want to hide, uh, like the smaller units, but they can yeah they can't reach. Amazing, yo, magic arrows coming in. I can do the same, you know. Come at me, bro. Okay, I don't want the bigger. I want to hide the centaur because he's like the fast unit, so he's the one I'm standing out with. Um. Defense. Yo, my dwarf. Hello? That's illegal. I was gonna lose less than the AI, not more. Anyway, we can just have these boys stand like that. I don't think they're breaking the wall. They broke the wall. Yo, Lamal mad lads. I want the trees to actually live, you know? Are they stand- oh my god. I have the basically the same result as Alto, even worse potentially. Uh, I think, yeah, the three man has to be blocking the entrance. And I think we will also be magic arrowing. And, yep. So the same as Alto, basically, but I use some mana for that fight as well. Uh, do I want water magic? Um, in a map or summoning boats? I actually will skip it. So, uh, we are in the smog, apparently. Tan does not have any towns, yep. And some people have some stats, yo. Uh, Lina is probably gonna get bought, but yeah, she will have to be bought in a different town. So, that's why she's... She has like... Oh, wait, the necklace is giving her like a bunch of stats. That necklace would be really useful elsewhere. Anyway, uh... Genova is a good hero to have. Elishar... Is a really good actually hero for exploration. I like that a lot. So now we will be swapping armies quickly. We will be giving away everything that is not needed. Just make like uh Okay wait, I need to stack them up a bit. So yeah, Elishar Elishar, I keep repeating your name as if it's gonna change something. Iona. Serena would be quite good there, because of the 40 gremlins. Um yeah, Lashar is just gonna go in the boat. Amazing fear is gonna be still, yeah, without the book, so he cannot really leave the town. Genova, actually, the new hope of the uh, town. I don't want her to actually lose the elves or anything. She is generating money, which means I am very interested in her prospects. Uh, archery would be good, leadership is good as well. I think we will be, like, uh, she has no book as well, but I think she will be explore, uh, picking up this army and exploring together. My main, uh, Mr. Coronius. Um, am I interested, actually, in jumping inside of a boat and doing this fight? Or are there better things to do with Elishar? Or Ryland, I mean. I think there are actually better things to do with Ryland. Uh, so, yeah, Mr. Coronius. 
I used to think this uh, cooked at Coronius is like a babushka, you know, because of the look. But appar apparently Coronius is a male, but that, uh, by the way, reminds me. I never read uh, Ryland's lore. So Ryland was the first and to date the only human ever fully accepted by the circle of elder dendroids as a ranger of Avali. Some joked that he was once an elf, but that he was killed and accidentally reincarnated into a human's body. Lamao, actually, mad lad, with his diplomatic tongue and his leadership, and uh, like, uh, apparently he, <laughs> he's a three watcher. <laughs> a very interesting individual we have here. I think I will be saving for the uh, capital. I feel it coming, you know. But then, which town do I actually build the capital in? I feel like the tower town is notoriously bad at defending itself, you know? Do you wish to retreat? Oh, actually, I should have just, uh... Yeah, I should have just... Oh... <laughs> well, now... Uh... Run away! Anyway... The smog is gonna be covering up that entire part of the map now. Uh, yeah, it's as if I was never there, you know. I think I will be buying back Lena in this town. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we lose the access to the other hero. I think Lean is a prime candidate for taking away these pixies. Leaving the ocean and then just... Okay, so uh, yeah, she would like to give the necklace away. How close is she to leveling up 200? Uh, I have an idea. I feel like it's a good idea. So I will be doing it. Uh, Mr. Coronius. So yeah, Lena will be... Uh, because you can level her up for free. And she only has two level ups uh, remaining. And then she becomes a prime base, base sitting hero. I think just doing this one fight. Um, instead of, like, Ryland. Yeah, okay, that's that. I don't want to actually lose the pixies. They're, like, pretty useful for a... unit you just, you know... give someone else all the time. Uh, where is Lena? And, yep. No Tic Tacs, but it should be fine. Ouch, ne negative morale. Oh, yeah, I did forget a little bit that I have a, like a mixed force and that no, not everyone has leadership available. Very diverse army, I must say. However, thankfully, the pain train. Hmm. So I'm thinking I could try to save some centaurs. I think I will be doing that. Yeah, and that leads them to uh, shoot other stuff, which is actually pretty good for me. Like the skeletons finally end up dying. So pathfinding and we will be heading back there. Um, so with Coronius we have basically visited everything here. Um, what about Ryland? Uh, am I going for that chest with him? That's a good question. I think uh, this one chest I will take... Uh, I will say no and I will be taking it for... Uh, ooh, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Lena, you can have the uh, ring that generates gems back. Anyway, I think we'll actually give you the fish. Yeah, like just one though. Um, and yeah, Coronius will be delivering the army back. Our island needs all of the good stuff. And we will be like, maybe doing it like so. And, yep. I happy. Um, yeah, Ryland. Gonna go here, pick up his power, and head out into the world and try to beat Tan down Tan for his crimes. And yeah, Coronius will be picking up this these items. Elishar, actually, in the boat. That's fine. Um, Genova has visited everything. We could pick up the archers. We could, yeah, she is very skilled in archery. So I think I will leave a hero here for that purpose, and I cannot uh, buy a capital yet. Uh, am I missing out some big building turns, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? 
I have a feeling I have to build something this turn. Like, I'll build something small. And for this town, not really, because I can, you know... It's better to, you know, invest a thousand gold than uh, wake up later and be like, Oh, I missed a turn of building, and now I can't have all the buildings that I wanted for the next week. So, yeah. Uh, Picodrim is coming there. Uh, let's do the move with the Coronius first. So let's pick up the gold. Uh, Pendant of Death is not really what I was looking for. I'll be very honest with you. Destroy and Dead spell. Um, ironically enough, or interestingly enough, it's actually useful for me. Because I have the uh, rates in my army, still. Um, so, Lena, you are picking up the level up and getting that expert estates. And since you will be just deafing the base, you can definitely also take the stat boosts. This is a hero I like to see. Expert estates, 350 money. You love to see it, you know? Um, Ryland, where are you going? Uh, this is an interesting prospect, taking the red border guard. I actually also want the gold mine back. Thank you very much. And they left the gems and treasure. Mm, Genova will be just defending the town. I actually think I am building a capital here instead of anywhere else. And yeah. I think we are like all set up to defend this town. And yeah, Fiora is just chilling as well. Uh, Genova has no spellbook. I keep forgetting about that, but I f also feel like I can fix it relatively easy. So yeah, have a spellbook, be a good hero now. Amazing. Ooh, Adelicious, you're going. I don't... I, I, one thing I probably should do is I should have a timer. Um, when the message is sent. So anyway, I'm ambushed by Blue. I think this is the first or second time I see him. I don't like the fact he will just be killing three, and I will let him, because I think I can do like another round of uh, spell casting. So like this, and I need the cloud to not hit me. As I said, I need the cloud to not hit me. Uh, the knight will hit Actually, I'm dying this turn if I do it like this, because he will just uh, attack with the Black Knight. Guaranteed kill, guaranteed kill with the Lich and then Magic Arrows. I think I have to run away. Well, then, unfortunate. And we are being... My town is being sieged, apparently. That leaves a question for me. Can I do get some resources uh, immediately? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Archers here. Uh, what Coronius actually needs is also to be... You're just... Uh, chilling. Actually, wait. I will be... Doing it like this. Uh, huh. Hmm. I feel like... The best... The way for me to defend is to do something like this. I actually feel like the trees will be more useful than the dwarfs. I will be doing a turn of building here, finally. Um, yeah, and just buy out everything you can. And I am quite happy with this army composition, I must say. I feel like I am ready to defend it. And level up my hero in the meantime. Blue does not land. <laughs> the casualties none. Amazing. That is what I love to see, you know. I will be accepting that. Runes of Imminency. Um, we don't have an access to Ballista, so... That is the thing I'm gonna be doing. So. Uh, ein, ein, ein. I would like to hire you once you uh, change your mind and decide to, you know, join the best faction there is. So, anyway, Lean gets to 
go here, this will go there. Caronius will be... As is with everything, we'll just be restoring the mana. And we'll be leaving. I actually want the genies anyway, so we'll be buying one out. Uh, to give the hero increased movement speed on the map. I also want the enchanted springs, I think it's an amazing building. Um, rooms of Imminency, to experience. I can't really leave the premises of the town, like at all. Because uh, otherwise I'm being like attacked here, you know? Also, uh, what is happening with Elishar? Elishar... <sighs> he failed once. He must fail again, you know? Uh, he did have all these pickups. Yep. He can just be a scouting hero. I think he can beat down Aina, but I will not move him before he can prove himself, you know? Uh, scouting is interesting, uh, but for a main hero, I feel like I might not be leveling up Ryland. All that- oh my god, Eagle Eye. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. Ugh. Uh, huh. Yeah, and in that case I will not be moving Elishar anywhere. Uh, Fear can actually come here, grab himself a book, and actually also become a useful secondary hero because of the one stacks. And the Genova is just chilling here after a successful town defense and not doing anything. Because we want to see where blue lands, because I'm actually blocking, the, yeah the ship is blocking them, oh. And they decide to... Tan's heroes have banned him and he's banished from this land. Yo, Aina, where did you run off to? So what army does blue... Oh yeah, this army has... That's what blue is. So day 6 and day 7. Uh, probably the Unicorn Glade as well as the... Trees. I feel like the... Best the Wings, the upgrade. I never took the Ore Pit, by the way. I kind of forgot because uh, it was so well... It fits so well into the background, you know? Um, yeah. Useful. Uh, what am I doing here with Coronius? What army is Coronius taking? Probably the Confi stuff. I don't see a reason why not to, you know? Uh, the Genies are an interesting prospect. Am I taking the... I mean, I probably should be buying out the town for defense first, you know? Like... Yeah, now I have bought out everything. Think about that for a bit. Uh, I was gonna say that it's nothing crucial, I don't have to make a decision right now, but apparently I do. I will be losing those 18 archers, it seems like. It's not amazing, but hey. I wanna explore up here, I see a mana well there. And I think that's where I might be going with Mr. Um, Ryland next. He can, you know, spend his mana. I could also go back and actually improve the archers. Yeah, I, I like that so much better than the plan I originally had. This means that uh, Mr. Coronius... Actually, the pixies are faster, so... We're stuck with an army like this uh, to explore the map, that's fine. Uh, Genova on defense is fine, fear is... Gonna just be sitting in the middle between these two to deliver the army. And yeah, I think I am ready to defend with this army, as it is at the moment. So I'll take the... Actually, put them like this. Magic resistant units. Yeah, you want to have the unicorn in the middle, because he makes... Uh, he gives the magic resistant aura. But then again... I think they will be targeting the archers down, you know? So who is the biggest rich patrons? Who is the biggest menace of the society? Um, like nobody, apparently. Blue is getting on my nerves, I must say. Can't really beat him down just yet, you know? But we are very close to that. I think I can just stand here and... Uh, he will be in the beatdown range, you know? Perhaps I should have picked up the... What can I upgrade? What do I even want to upgrade? I think maybe I will just take the... Uh, this army. Go here. Inside of the town. And definitely upgrading the archers. Um, perhaps even skipping the... 
Yeah, it's just two, two dendrites that are not that interesting to me. Eight speed, this is eight speed, that's amazing. Uh, we'll still leave him with some. One stacks. Mr. Fior, and yeah, runes of imminency. Here, have this. Um, I'll take the eight pixies off of your hands. I still like that I have the undead creature in my army. <laughs> that's an instant classic, you know. Uh, Lena is here. She needs to have more movement speed for the next turn. I could be generating gems with her, but we have like the gem ring already. Um, Ella Sharp picking up the stuff. I think I will be orange gold mine. Yo, that's a uh, prospect. I'm not uh, well now. Look who it is. And mm, Coronius, what are you doing? I think you're just exploring the- Oh, this is a small conservative view air. A good spell. And apparently I'm getting bullied by Blue. Uh, this has to end, Blue. I will bully you back. And afterwards I think I'm just going in, uh, trying to finish Orange. My neighbors are too pesky to deal with, you know? Anything I can build here. Anything I want to build. I have enough ore. Uh, the gems are not... That useful, so we'll be building that just now. Oh, hello. It's just skipping past me, I see. I really do not appreciate that, you know? Um, we definitely need to split up the... Like, pixie stack. So they can be... Clouded, you know? Like this, perhaps? Anyway, nice liches you got there. And uh, yeah, we are retreating with her. Um, Coronius gets uh, attacked. Uh, 50, 25 and 25. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty appropriate. Uh, how did you get a ancient behemoth? Why do you have resistance, Mr. Strager? I mean, of course you do, but like... Just surprises me a bit, you know? Um, yeah. I feel like that's fine. Um, I will still be trying to, like, you know, bully them a bit. I feel like the AI will be bullying me instead, you know? Anyway, we have, like, a turn of casting more. Uh-huh. Hmm, can I survive another turn? He does- he hasn't been casting any spells. And he has like god awful morale, as long as the walking dead don't reach me. Oh, but the- okay, the cow reached me, but that's fine. And Cronius is also gonna be running away, I feel like. Okay. So, both of my heroes should be here, yep. So, uh, Genova, you are a useful hero, you can, uh, you know, level up. Maybe into, uh, something good like air magics, yep, that's fine. And we'll give you that. Alina can be picking up the things. Hmm. HMMM. Uh, this hero did not get assassinated, which is amazing. Um, I do not really approve this action here. Uh, anyway, what am I doing in this lovely start of the week? I think I'm buying out the upgraded troops for sure. After that, I feel like maybe... Okay, I can't upgrade them. I could upgrade the unicorns, but now I haven't bought them out even. So there, that's not too, too useful. Yeah, Mr. Ryland, you can have the threes, you know? So we can give him, like, everything. Um, I would like the money, please. As well as that. And yeah, Ixi is gonna be getting banished. I have the uh, summon boat. I should be maybe going through the magic well, actually. Okay, so wait, uh, this 
this, this, the slow army together, and the fast army together, and this is fine. So. Foul lich. I will, uh, teach you to mess with me. Uh, apparently, yeah, I like how I have, like, expert uh, earth magics, but no earth magics uh, spells. Doing that. 404. Uh huh, amazing. Maybe I will be doing the conservatory. I'll see what the size of it is. And anyway, Elishar has survived this uh, week. It's an amazing. Yo, what the hell is this? How did they do these? Where they put them on the other? <laughs> this is like a big confusion. Hold up, I want to open up a snipping tool and make a. Uh, let's do a three second delay. I want a screenshot for all these oddities, you know? Like, hold up. Okay, wait. Uh, how big do I make it? I will figure it out later, so just. Uh, let's save it on desktop, and it is, uh, dwarves, uh, hot bugged. Like, this must be one of the first, like, uh, maps I made, because apparently the dwellings have, like, different, um, like, zones you can access. Okay, wait, green, that's me. That's, that's so interesting to me, always. Uh, yeah, we should not forget to buy out Coronius. Coronius has the potential to be a good, really good secondary hero, but apparently the secondary heroes are getting bullied out of this world. In this particular uh, time. Morador is actually a bit scary. Um, Straker is not that scary to me. Um, so Lean is... Gonna be going into the city. So who's defending? Is it Lena with the estates or is it Genova? I think it's Genova because she has more like battle oriented, uh, you know, skills. I don't think they reach me. I should be assuming that I do though. Golden Pavilion and some stuff here that is not too too relevant. Um, is Fear reaching here? No, he isn't. I don't care about those archers too much. I... yeah, I should be assuming that I reach and I should be buying out the Master Gremlins. And... Like... Stacks of these and something that's like magic resistant perhaps. So like... oh, actually I can't reach... Uh, we missed per exactly like one step, this is pretty unfortunate. So, yeah... Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And Mr. Elishar. I think Mr. Elishar can actually beat down the uh, dendroid arches, you know? Using magic, of course. Actually, I should have calculated the hit points and everything. I, w I was thinking I can just magic and arrow him down. The. You know, it's I am a bit tired, so I have a reason for playing badly, you know? Sleepy guest ain't uh, too competent, it seems. Okay, wait, I hope they don't really go for the dwarves. Like, immediately, you know? They go for the dwarves. Damn you, three man. Oh, that's not good. Really, that isn't good. Um. I have to start brawling with him before they're even magic arrow down, which is pretty sad. And actually, wait, we are losing. Elish oh, let's. Yo, we have to run away with. Appar no, apparently he does not have enough mana to even do this. Well, I have been playing very disappointingly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have been playing very poorly. Uh, Tazar, though. Interesting. And, ooh, I'm getting landed on, and they are coming with a striker. So, there are two heroes here now. 
Uh, I don't actually... I, f I could take the fight outside the town. That is an interesting prospect. I have to consider. Malekith and... Darkstone is really powerful, but Malekith is looking not that impressive. Um, there are so few griffins here, so wait. Am I faster than the royal griffins? I will be assuming... Uh, okay, wait, so the dwarves are slow, trees are slow, these are fast. So we can, like, be in a single place. Do they get to... yeah, they get to move first, that's uh, very unfortunate. An oversight, you might say. But, hey, that's... I... I don't know these numbers from my head. Oh yeah, they're on a grassland, that's why they're so speedy. And, yep, a angel. Um, I think it's time to say goodbye to the uh, wraiths. Uh, they have been useful throughout this game, but their usefulness has come to an end. Um, I will be also going through the thing. Ooh, so this city is only guarded by Sasharta. I wonder if the, if, the, if the person who captures it actually wins immediately. Um, so, wait, I need like the dark blue border guard, basically, to win it. I can get some good loot for the red border guard. Um, there are some elf stuff here. <sighs> Morador, hmm. Ionan, hmm. Ooh, stables, now well, that's interesting. But I think I will be going for orange like first so uh so 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 golden pavilion uh what do we need here i think we could trade up the mercury maybe uh yeah i think that's a good idea because they're like magic resistant and stuff so they are like a true a prime choice for a unit um the genies i think i have enough and so if this if I give this army to Janova oh, actually she has no like magic. This is like very unfortunate. So I have to like let them be here. I could just fight without magic. I don't think I can brawl down the behemoths with uh, this army without magic, you know. Um that is very disappointing. Um So, you know. And let's have a black backup plan, essentially. I actually feel like the, uh, hold up, the two genies will be more useful here. So I have a backup contingency plan, safety plan. Uh, ain't looking too hot, hey? But that's mostly because my gameplay has, like, sucked badly. So, uh, fear is... Is he safe to, like... I think he is safe to, like, take the gold mine back, or, you know, at least, at the very least, try to. Uh, Genova, she has 7 defense, though, so she is not the worst hero I could have. Okay, let's see what they do. They pick up the stuff. I should not be going for mines with my main, but as I say that, I will do it. Uh, just pick up the stable, uh, pick up the mana well, go for their town, and it should be fine. And the Genova is finally in a fighting state, in a fighting mood. In big mood, you know, for fighting. Um, let's pick up the Master Genies. And we are, like, set, you know. I feel like I can beat these two heroes down, if, even if they merge their armies together. Um, Fior now has to, like, run away. And apparently this enchanted, no, oh, this enchanted spring is just not taken, which is pretty interesting. We'll still take the, uh, sawmill. Am I buying back Cronius? Um, it's not the end of the week, so it's not, like, the worst thing I can do to have, like, another hero. Who, you know, used to be great, make Cronius great again, you know? Uh, but yeah, Elvashar is also going to be chilling. I like how I keep saying their names like they're Pokemon or something. But now Pokemon say their own names, so that's pretty funny. Ooh. So Lemish, Prince of the Lude, says hi. <laughs> Hello. 
So wait, uh, I think scouting is amazing to do. Yeah, it depends on the map, really. And I'm like, this map is so small, I will probably not need scouting, you know, at all. Uh, anyway, what I will need is a manual. And I apparently ran into the fight with the mummies. I will just take the <laughs> fight, though. I don't see a reason why not. So, um, with Domina. If I do this, can I reach her? I cannot reach her if I do that. I want to reach her this turn, so just smack her out, you know? We'll, we'll clap her, as they say. Um, actually, I want some speedy stuff on my... I could haste them, they could shoot and they could like... Come on, really, he would just like protected everything. Okay, you know what? I can shoot the pixies down. Oh, but the skeletons still move. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did that to me. Uh, can I take the conservatory with this army? I actually think it's really doable, like very easily. And also... Photographer is an interesting prospect, but no, I don't think I can. And uh, apparently, yeah, Mr. Who is better, Coronius or Elishar? One has more stats in the magic. I think Coronius will be the one defending, and Elishar will just be like, I don't know, going in a boat, for, for, for example. I could give him uh, some army and he could take the elf fight. Also, Lena can uh, be definitely recapturing this orbit. Also, potentially, this archer stuff. Um, so, I need to be prepared for an attack. Uh, the best way I can think about that. Okay, wait. So, I would like to upgrade the. But also, like, the dwarves probably will be the most meaningful stack I have in this fight. Uh, I think I'm fine with this army. But I have been wrong before quite a lot in this map, actually. So, uh, Ryland, 15 mummy, 18 mummies want to join. Yo, I have diplomacy, but no thanks. Uh, artillery gets offered to me again. Uh, there are no towns that I know of that you can buy a ballista here on this map. Actually, dungeon, but like I haven't uh, found where they are yet. So that's a bit of an oof. So getting their town before day 7 would be like massive. Um, actually, Lena, can you give us archers? No, you cannot. That's pretty sad. Um, yeah, they're coming here with two heroes, so one of them is actually quite good. Uh, do they have, yeah, they have like the smog, they have the smoke cloud. I will be also upgrading the trees in this case, just like extra hit points, you know. I cannot buy any hero that is like meaningful, spellcaster. And Elishar, perhaps, yeah, just keep him in the water, have him uh, have some good luck. And then we'll see what he can do. And uh, Golden Pavilion, sure, I should have built it a while ago, but it's still this week, so that's fine. And Mr. Fjord is just gonna be picking up random stuff like mines on the map, you know? Because my mines apparently in the middle get stolen all the time. So, Genova, are you strong enough to do this fight? Are you strong enough to maybe do like another fight first for free? I think she is. Like, yeah, strong enough just to, like, uh, maybe we can also do the shipwreck fight, take the tent, and then get the Ring of Life with some other hero. Oh, actually, that portal uh, has multiple, like, entrances and exits, so I need to be wary about that. Uh, so, their army is looking pretty interesting, pretty diverse, I must say. Like, boom. Am I dying next turn? I don't think I am. Step before I get to move. Nope, I am apparently dying before I get to move. Because uh, I had negative morale, strangely, but perhaps that's because I'm an item. So I will be accepting this. This is a the best result you can ever ask for. And myst mystical patrons. So anyway, we need to stop the uh, smog land, you know. Uh, Dan, this is actually quite an army they have here, defending. And Taurusaur as well. Uh, Taurusaur, the guy who knows the power of the Ballista. So, uh, wait, speed 7, 8. I feel like haste is the appropriate cast here. 
Uh, death Ripple, apparently. Comes out, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom. So, yeah, if you, if you have units that can shoot four times, it's like really good. Apparently. So, Death Ripple came out. That's very surprising to me. I have put my guy in the range of Vampire Lords, so I'm not too, too happy about that. Also, let's get the rates down. And. Pick the liches out. They, yeah, because they will probably fly out. Got protected correctly. Amazing. So, 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 so. I feel like hitting the skeleton. Hmm. Perhaps just go going out before they can hit me would be pretty good as well. Hmm. Can this guy reach if I just... I want to demolish their tent. And they, they fly out themselves, which is amazing. And in that case, I will like haste this guy up. And these defeat the Vampire Lords. Defeat the Bone Dragon, apparently not. And just like... Fly out to not get hit by the Dread Knight. Which is fantastic. And boom. Okay, the towers shoot my guy. And I feel like if the Angel survives the hit... Can I make him survive? Can I do something that is like... I can do some damage beforehand. Okay, oh, the unicorn didn't get to move quite yet, but hey. Oh, expert in diplomacy is what we have. Is there a reason for us to be in this town? Yo, they can buy a shipyard. Discrimination, I couldn't. Day 7, so yeah, smoke cloud. I think I will be picking up the first aid tent. Not the most amazing purchase. But it is a purchase I am happy with. They have a uh, Sandro here. Isn't Sandro their starting hero though? Oh no, that was Monador. So, uh, yeah, I will need a new hero here, but probably the next week's sp fresh spawn, you know? Um, yeah, Lina as well. Can just bing chilling. Uh, Cloud Temple apparently is something I'm, that I'm some building. Um, I don't have enough small number. Oh, yo, I could use the bonus from the Mystic Pond for the town defense, you know? Okay, wait, hold up. I. Okay, wait, Coronius. That's what I wanted, and yeah. I don't think Coronius is living through this, though. I will try. We don't have anything that can really help the defense. I don't know if I want to build anything because of that reason. Uh, we'll just try our best. And let the game do the rest. Wait, didn't Lena not uh, fully move? Yeah, I think she missed like a part of her movement. No, it's not Lena, but uh, who, who was exploring for me? Genova didn't move at all. I did kind of forget about her. So, this is a big problem. They have a billion orcs. I think they just had a couple of joiner stacks. Um, I really need to defend like the big and the chunky stacks, you know? So, like the threes are a bit slow. They definitely need to be... Oh, apparently we're like losing all the dwarfs. Like immediately. And uh, the Bone Dragon is not dangerous, apparently, as well. That is a interesting prospect, eh? Yeah, the, the Dragon is apparently no, of no concern to us. I do, would like to brawl one down. I think the towers might hopefully be smart enough to... Nope. Thank you, towers, for not targeting the, the big level 7 creature I was thinking shooting amazing so we have ivor and we have luna um two big household names you know okay, wait. No, negative uh i could have beaten down astro uh genova is not having a good time at all uh geon is actually a free picking if i can reach him you know can i reach him though no i probably cannot cannot reach him unfortunately I will still be picking up the, the resources. I hate that they took my town. 
I think I ever actually Luna will be decent enough purchase. And yeah, she can just like pick up the stuff here. Uh she can suffer diplomacy, but she will reject it. Reject the diplomacy, return to barbarism. So I am gonna be going back through the conservatory and going back for my town, apparently. That is the plan. Um, I feel like this town is the safest because of uh, like the heroes and everything here, uh, so I will be building the thing there. I think Elishar is fine in the boat. Okay, Astra lands. I should be really careful about the middle castle not being taken, because like the dark blue is the only thing that is missing for them. Uh, two Nagas, yo, hello. We are getting more um, army for the faction. Time building up. Oh, apparently we're winning for free as well. So Genova actually having a good thing going for her. Um, Lina. If I had another hero here, like right now, I think... Uh, I want to keep Ivor for uh, when I, you know, take the town because I can get some archers from here. I think Mr. Yeah, Mr. Like, Voy, uh, Voy will be quite good actually. Well, like this. And Lena can just do something like this. With a super diverse army, we can come, we can magic our own, we can be fine. And can we, like, haste up my genie somehow? Apparently not. Well, now. So, uh... Magic Arrow, we could also try to... I have negative morale, so I should just do this, you know? Make sure the fight ends in my favor, that's pretty good. Billion trillion griffins. Um, are you doing this fight? Yes, but uh, slightly differently. So, uh, of course, I got the uh, slow, the best spell for the <laughs> br worst slow. I feel like maybe blessing could be really good. Hmm. Hmm -hmm -hmm. I have to deal with these two stacks of griffins. The unicorn can reach, this guy cannot reach. So it will be. 4 to 5 is not that much. Uh huh. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. One attack so we can leave the gap here. I feel like blessing up the archer is pretty good. Yes, especially if he morales. That means I can, like, delete this griffin completely. Okay, Mr. Tree Man, I wonder if we... I think we just have to go in full brawl, you know? Oops. Didn't mean to move with him, but that's fine. Oh yeah, they, they attack multiple times, of course. And Angel is strong enough to take the hit for first hit, you know? Center Captains are for apparently being sacrificed for a good cause. 9, 8, 9, 19. Uh, well, let's Magic Arrow him down. And now we shouldn't be taking any losses because we can just hit and hit and boom boom and what a clean fight so uh yeah i have a bless i think the water magic will be really good for me personally so uh mage tower yes please that is something that was sorely missing for this town No, no, oh my god. Is he winning? <laughs> Is Blue just winning this scenario like this in such an easy manner? By just taking these tents, a couple of tents, he's been around the world. Can I stop him even? I am not fast enough to like actually be here. 
in time, you know? Uh, yeah, this is like the best I can do. If he can take the town, which I think he can with some spell casting, because probably it's their strongest hero, no? Jalair? I mean, yikes. Might just uh, have to, you know, restart this one, because apparently I didn't pay attention to the map and too much. To be fair, I'm like really tired, but, uh, you know, that's no excuse to play poorly, even though it is a pretty good excuse. So wait, I want to deliver the army. Elishar, maybe he can take take the town. I mean, they have bought out basically all the stuff that matters there. I mean, yeah, let's take the ranged army first. Uh, the let's actually make the Nagas. I don't usually like Nagas. I uh, you know that they have a lot of. Um, Sympathy from the might and magic players. I just I just don't find them a good unit I Like as good as the other people would make you think they are anyway, uh, mr. B uh, Goblin man can uh, be taking the army away and we will be giving it to Ella and Yeah Here man have all of this fantastic army um, Yeah um, are we landing here? Is a good question. Like, yeah, I don't know why I have the like, gargoyle. I think the one sitting gargoyle actually isn't too good. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a decent fight. We'll potentially level him up. I have some resources here. We don't lose too much for it either. I could also just haste up. Hold up, I could just haste up the Nagas. Right. Please haste them up. Oh my god. Uh, that is pretty painful, I must say. Uh, yeah, we could have blocked with a haste genie. So that is pretty painful. Perhaps they... No, the AI will just, like, have better results. Yeah, of course. And now it happens. Uh, yeah, yikes. AI getting AI favoritism. No surprise there. And... Yeah, the big question. Are we just losing now? Because the AI, the blue AI takes... No, the blue AI tries to take the town, but doesn't. Now that is a surprise. A sh for sure, but a welcome one. I wanted to explore the map more. I don't know what's in, like, here. Maybe another island. I feel like there should be, like, four islands. Uh, where, with the border guards. One with maybe each source mine. Um, I'm pretty interested about the heroes that... Wait, how much did he leave? Uh, I actually dealt with most of the problematic army, I would say. And I can, like, buff up real good. Like, can get good morale. Like, get the two chests, even, for this fight. Um, so anyway, Genova. We could even deliver some army, perhaps? Actually, where does the other... I know that the other... It leads more than just a few places. Apparently here, okay. Oh, so this is how you... you get like the portals from very easily uh, that's, that, that's what the AI did isn't it that's what the AI did to get the stuff very easily now um, yeah unfortunately I have to go like this um, not sure if that was a good choice even but hey uh huh uh yeah Luna can Chilling. Okay, apparently she will not be chilling for too, too long. And Wei is just getting a 3 level up. Because we don't know what to do with him at all. I could try to deliver the army, but no, let's just do it like this. I will assume that Ryland is strong enough to win that fight, especially with um, the town. Gar Garrison weakened. Um, AI... What do you think about uh, firewalls, yo? I will put my fish here, and I will put like all the army, like this in this little choke point. Okay, they are moving through the firewall though. Can I like force them to...
Like this, maybe? I just want the behemoth, yeah, to explode. <laughs> got him, got he. Alright, Luna can run away. We got the behemoth down, that's all that matters to me. I bet Ivor is no longer to be found in my tavern. Oh no, Ivor is to be found in my tavern, amazing. Okay, so, Mr. Ryland, uh, can you get any stronger, quickly? Uh, no, you cannot, even if you get the max chests. I think, yeah, we don't have the access to the brown one. Uh, so, with this army, the four angels, though, should carry pretty hard, I think. Okay, and I think Elishor can also land. And yeah, Mr. Straker. I think Luna with like vampires and liches and wraiths. And maybe a single bone dragon should be about doing the uh, defense, you know. And also some level 2 spells, perhaps. Blind, Death Ripple, yo, I can Death Ripple them. How did I get Death Ripple if they didn't have a level 2 magic build, though? Okay, yeah, Blue says I'm out, that's that's not happening. Yo, the AI is actually really uh, utilizing the boats well, being annoying with them. But hey, uh, so, potentially last turn, I wonder if I should even be playing more uh, with the uh, heroes that are not my main. Oh yeah, you, oh, we actually have a spellbook. Oh yeah, because the way he's a battle mage. I think of him as a might hero because of the portrait. And his portrait was actually, portrait was actually changed. Which is pretty interesting. So, um... Yeah, I think I will just be... Attacking the town with the island. So, probably should be putting the troops that can fly like in the middle. The slower troops like this. Something like this is good, right? Can we beat the town with my uh, amazing magic arrows, which are basically my uh, best cast? So, uh, angels can reach, that's amazing. Um, their pegasus can also reach my stuff. Not too, too thrilled about that. He might be wanting to demolish the tent. I kind of feel like that's... Oh wait, actually there's two stacks of, uh, hold up, can't reach them, can reach them though, hold up, Ari. okay, okay, so I will be moving first, I want the dwarves to specifically be there, you know, these can be like there, okay, we are, uh, all set. I, if I haste the Pegasus, he can block that archer. So that's fantastic. I yeah, I definitely should be hitting there. And thirteen. He's just shooting. Now we we should we need to hit the guy who can shoot twice. He's too strong otherwise, and we need to haste up this guy as well. They choose to block for the archers, which turned out to be a Pepega. Bad move. I'm very happy about and uh, actually the the slow troops are defending my own archers and the faster ones are moving around to help you know so uh, definitely we want to be dealing with the bigger I'm gonna be waiting okay they actually do that still gonna be waiting okay they choose to hit the angel okay, this is actually a pretty big problem Okay, and we want to defend my own archer, there is, they are pretty good, and yeah, we will probably want to be trying to deal with this guy, and the angel can definitely deal with the archers on his own, and with the dwarves apparently as well, so like, boom, boom, uh, do I bless up, do I shoot with a magic arrow, for I think, boom, boom, if I morale, the, the less would have been better. And we are winning. This town has been taken by Ryland. Congratulations, you captured 
uh, Shartak and are victorious. Woohoo! We captured the Elven Town before the time ran out. <laughs> Naga's not good. <laughs> I just don't like them. First, it's a personal thing because they are a creature with no retaliation, and the no retaliation is amazing for like vampires because they're like a one hex unit that can hit and uh, like th they can squeeze into like holes hit and then you know they're easy to because of f they're flying as well they're easy to uh, use harpy hags as well no retaliation easy to use nagas it's like you can have bad maps bad terrains or they are not reaching you ha need to have the upgraded version they're hella expensive um they're not useful in like a lot of fights like town sieges that i mean they are useful but it's just like you know, you saw the last fight, the angels are basically uh, kind of uh, carrying the whole game. So, Peacemaker, a cavalier. The appropriate rating would have been a druid, you know? But we can't have it all. Anyway, that is gonna be it for me for today. It's finally... It's refreshing finally streaming after like almost a two week break, but for real, last week I couldn't do anything because I had like evening shifts and I kept waking up in the morning like two hours before I have to go to work and I'm like, I can't do <laughs> anything uh, productive, really. But yeah, um, I don't know when, hopefully in the weekend, I haven't heard anything from the boys, hopefully in the weekend we can continue a game which we started. Um, or finish even one, that would be amazing, because I have like five different multiplayer games started. I would like to not start any more, and playing Duel, I think if that's the, the only thing we can do this weekend, I will skip it, you know? I'm kind of up for some team games or some free-for-alls, but like, uh, you know, uh, Duel. Or like, you know, Arena Lactist. Uh, I'll skip it for one week. Anyway. That's gonna be it for today. The stream was almost two hours long. I didn't get to explore the map a lot, but all in all, I'm happy with the result. So yeah, I will be seeing you. Cheers. Probably seeing you tomorrow even, you know. And we are ending the stream. <laughs> it's taking a while. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. <laughs>